today's session on network analysis. Today, I am going to tell about the resonance in RLC series circuit. Myself, Dr. Shainiti Chatterjee, Associate Professor of Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department. Today, I will go for the resonance. So, before starting, I will discuss about the what are the uh, course outcomes we are basically telling in this talk today's session. Today, we will present the uh, necessary from today's session, the students will try to learn the necessary mathematical background of the transient analysis of DC and AC circuit study and transients using differential equation and Laplace terms from for series and parallel circuit. Today, we will basically focus on the series circuit and next class, we will discuss about the parallel circuit. Then what is the outcome? The course outcome is the student will discuss the steady state response and resonance of the electric circuit to AC supply. So today our lecture is basically based on the resonance of electrical circuits to AC supply and we will discuss about the series uh, resonance or the resonance of the series electrical circuits. So, as we discussed, according to our course outcomes, so first we will discuss about the AC to RLC circuit. Just one quick revision that if what will happen when we are connecting one AC with RLC circuit. Already we have discussed in my last uh, lecture, previous lecture about AC to different type of circuit. Today, we will basically discuss about the AC through the RLC circuit. This circuit shows the resistance, inductance, capacitance in series across AC supply of RMS voltage V. So, what is V? V is equal to Vm sin omega t and its RMS value is capital V. Now, as this is a series circuit, the same amount of current will flow throughout the circuit and let's see the current is I. So what is the voltage drop? The voltage drop across the uh, voltage drop across the resistance is Vr is equal to Ir. Voltage drop is equal to inducted is I into XL where XL is equal to omega L or we can tell 2 pi FL. L is the inducted in Henry. F is the supply frequency and what is F? F is for India, it is generally 50 Hz. Similarly, we got the value of Ixc. Xc means the this is the voltage drop across the capacitor and we got here value 1 by 2 pi Fc or we can write 1 by omega C. Similarly, C is the capacitance in farad. So, if we apply the KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law, we can write voltage is equal to Vr plus Vl plus Vc. Now, we have to remember one thing. When we are giving one AC circuit, this is purely, when we are giving any AC supply, it is purely uh, vector quantity. So, we cannot add only magnitude. We have to add the uh, magnitude as well as the phase angle. And if we go for the if we go for the phasor diagram, so what will happen? We know the voltage as this is an S. As this is a uh, series circuit, we are taking I as our uh, base because I is constant throughout the circuit and the, we know the voltage drop across the register is always in the same phase in the same phase in phase means in the same phase with I. So what will be the VR? What will be the VR? VR will be always in the same phase. We are writing it as OA. 
सो वॉट इज ओ ए ओ ए इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द रेजिस्टेंस एंड वी नो इट इज ऑलवेज इन फेज विद द करेंट एंड हियर वी आर टेकिंग आई एज द बेस बिकॉज द करेंट इज कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रू आउट द सर्कुट ना वॉट अबाउट द वी एल वी एल इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द इंडक्टर वी एल इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द इंडक्टर एंड वी नो द वोल्टेज इज ऑलवेज एक्रॉस द इंडक्टर इज ऑलवेज लीडिंग द करेंट ऑलवेज लीडिंग द करेंट सो दिस इज आवर वी एल दिस इज आवर वी आर दिस इज आवर वी एल द ग्रीन लाइन एंड इट ऑलवेज मेक्स अ एंगल बाय नाइंटी डिग्री सो वॉट इज वी एल i into xl i into xl so let's the name is so if we draw parallel line here for our for our uh, is of problem solving we are giving the name b and b is equal to what is b b is equal to vl so we got our vr we got our vl similarly there is some drop in the vc there is some drop in the vc so it will always lag the current by 90 degree it will always lag the current by 90 degree lagging means minus 90 degree so this will be if we again draw a c so this is our green one is vl and this is our vc so this is the green one is our vl so if vl now there may be different conditions first we are going for the condition which condition and you can see vl and vc is always 180 degree out of phase in phase means same phase out phase means opposite phase so you can see vl and vc both are 180 degree opposite now there are two cases what are the two cases we will start first case is if vl is greater than vc so vl is greater than vc means if we go for here this positive side graph vl minus vc so which one is bigger the green one will be uh, longer so we can write we can write vl minus vc vl minus vc in the positive quadrant this is our vr so what is our v this is our v and v is equal to i into z so this is our v because we know vr plus vl plus vc is equal to v so what is v v is equal to vr plus vl plus vc so we got this line now if we go for our case 2 what is the case 2 case 2 is vl is less than vc so if we think this is our again this is our vr so vl minus vc means now vc is greater so it will come in the negative quadrant so vl minus vc this is magnitude actually vc minus vl so we are getting so this is our v v is equal to i into z so this is the angle now this angle phi we are measuring in the positive side but what will happen that it will come in the negative side so minus phi so minus phi means this is the lagging circuit this is the leading circuit this is the lagging circuit this is the leading circuit now we are going for our case 3 which has been not written here that is the case 3 and what is the case 3 we are thinking case 3 is equal to vl is equal to vc so what will happen if the voltage across the inductor is equals to the voltage across the capacitor so what is happening vl equals to vc means both are equal so which will happen they will as they are 180 degree opposite so v if vl minus vc vl uh, equals to vc both will cancel each other and the dominant voltage will be the voltage across the resistance so this is our this is our today's case so this is our today's case which is called as resonance what is our resonance 
resonance in a series RLC circuit uh, occurs when the reactive effects of the inductor and capacitor cancels each other out resulting a purely resistive circuit. So the definition is very meaningful. You can understand the uh, definition. Resonance in a series circuit or series RLC circuit rather occurs when the effective reactance. Effective reactance means? So as we draw now, this is our I. Next, what we draw? In the uh, green color, this is our VL. The red color is showing the VR and the purple color is showing the VC. This is the basic one. Now what is the case? VL, the voltage drop across the uh, inductor is equals to the voltage drop across the capacitor. So what will happen as they are out phase? Out phase means they are 180 degree opposite they will cancel each other VL and VC both will cancel each other then we know V is equal to what is our equation VR plus VL plus VC say so this is our VX so this is our VX so what is happening here? It is happening V is equal to VR. VL and VC both magnitude is VX but they are phase opposite. So they will cancel out each other and it will become a pure resistive circuit. So is this clear what is happening here? So you can write that so what is happening? Resonance in a series RLC circuit occurs when reactive effects of the inductor and capacitor cancels each out, uh, cancel each other resulting in a purely resistive circuit. At the resonance, the circuit will exhibit some interesting properties such as maximum current and minimum impedance. I will discuss this property later also. Just this is the definition. Understanding the phenomena of resonance in a series RLC circuit is essential in designing and analyzing of many electronic devices and system. Resonance is an important phenomena in the electrical engineering as well as the electronics engineering. If any time the resistive and capacitive circuit becomes equal, the current becomes maximum. And to um, calculate the maximum current, uh, if suddenly in a circuit the current is maximum, it can burn the circuits, it can cause a you know, very much heat. So we have to know what is the resonance point. And sometimes we need the resonance for some making up some equipment. So this is a very, very important phenomena in the field of electrical engineering. So what is happening? So what is happening here? As we discussed before also the VR is VL and VC. These three are equal and if we draw just before also we draw that the VL and v, uh, VC both are cancel out each other. Now what is VR? VR is equal to I into R. What is VC? VC is equal to I into XC. And what is VL? VL is equal to I into XL. This is only for series circuit. Remember, we are not, this is a series circuit where R, L, C both are in the, we have taken this picture from VK Mahata book. So, uh, no. so both are equal and we are just considering the VR, VL and VC. So according to the resonance condition, what will happen? I into XL is equal to I into XC. So we can write then XL is equal to XC. XL means 2 pi FL. What is the meaning of XC? We have just discussed 1 by 
2 by fc. So, what is the if we multiply f squared is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared lc. What is f? Root of 1 by 4 pi squared lc is equal to 2 pi root of lc. This is known as the fr and fr is known as the resonance frequency. What is FR? FR is known as the resonance frequency. So, what is happening? We discussed that the resonance condition, we are getting re reactive, uh, the inductance and reactive capacitance, both voltage drop will be equal. So, Vc is equal to Vl. What is Vc? I into Xc. What is Vl? Vl is equal to I into Xl. So, from there we can write Xl equals to Xc. What is Xl? 2 pi Fl. What is Xc? 1 by 2 pi Xc. So, we are getting the F square is equal to 1 by 4 pi square Lc and Fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of Lc. So, this is called the resonance frequency. So, what are the characteristics of the series resonance? Now, this is a very, very important question and I will discuss it one by one point. So, what is this? First one is the power factor is infinity. What, uh, sorry, power factor is unity. What is the meaning of power factor? Power factor is equal to cos phi and we can write it R by Z. Cos phi means the angle between the voltage and current is known as the power factor. The angle between the, we can also tell the angle between the apparent power and active power is called as power factor. So, there are different definition of power factor. What is the first one? First power factor definition is, this is the angle between resistance to the impedance. Second is, this is the angle between the voltage and this is the angle between the overall voltage and overall current. Third one, we can tell that the, uh, the power factor is the angle between the apparent power to the, uh, active, active power to the apparent power. So we can draw again the basic phasor diagram. This is our I. This is our VR. This is our VL minus VC. I am taking the positive side only. And this is the voltage. So, if this is the voltage, then this is our power factor angle. So, if I think this is R, so VR is equal to I into R. What is this? This is I is equal to XL minus XC. And what is V? V is equal to I into Z. So, we already discussed these things before also. So, what is cos phi? Cos phi is equal to this base by the, uh, the z. So, it is coming i r by i z. So, it is r by z. So, this is called the power factor. Now, in this case, what is happening? This is I am drawing in the side also. What is happening? I XL minus XC in this case XL is equal to XC so XL minus XC is equal to 0. So XL minus XC is equal to 0 what does it signify? What is Z? From this figure we can write Z is equal to base square by the perpendicular square. So R square R square plus xl minus x square. Correct. What is z square? Actually, i into z vr square is equal to vl minus vc square by vr square. So, just we are taking the i out and we are getting z is equal to square root of r square xl xl minus x square. Now, xl is equal to xc. What does it mean? That z is equal to R. So, what is the cos phi then? Z is equal to R means R by R is equal to 1. So, power factor is unity. So, I think the first point is clear why the power factor is unity. Now, we are coming to the next point. 
what about the impedance r square plus xl minus xc so now this term is becoming zero this term is becoming zero means the impedance is minimum at this point impedance of the circuit is minimum now if the uh, inductance is minimum what about the admittance admittance means 1 by z is equal to 1 by r so admittance of the circuit is maximum so if r is minimum then y will be the maximum now what about the current what is current current v is equal to v by z is equal to i before z is big, uh, big number now z is a small number so current will be more if the denominator is becoming small the result will be becoming big so the maximum current current is maximum and the magnitude of the voltage across the inductance and capacitance will be q times of the supply value but they are in phase opposition so actually vr and vq uh, vr and vl will also be big and it is the q times q is known as the quality factor but they are always the exactly 180 degree and their magnitudes will be same so these are a big you know this is a very very important question what is resonance and what is the characteristics of the series resonance so if we go for the graphical representation of the resonance what is the graphical representation of resonance Suppose an alternating voltage of constant magnitude but a varying frequency is applying in the RLC. What we are doing? We are say giving a voltage which is which is the alternating voltage of constant magnitude but of varying frequency. The frequency is varying continuously in an RLC circuit. So what are the situations may arrive? First one if we go for the resistance. Resistance doesn't depend on any frequency. Resistance is doesn't depend on any frequency. It is independent of frequency. So it will be represent whatever the frequency value it is always constant you can see here this is our resistance and resistance is always constant what will be the inductance inductance will be what is the value of the inductance inductance means 2 pi fl so if the frequency increased what will happen if the frequency increased it will also increase in a uh, continuous way because frequency is increasing but after some times we know there is some saturation it will be again becoming constant that is an another situation what will happen if the frequency is um, uh, what is about xc we know x is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc so if a 1 by 2 pi is a constant so it is 1 by fc so if the frequency is decreasing what about the fc it is always in an it will decrease in the negative side so what about the x x will be depends on the value of xl and xc so this is the and what will happen to the curve what will happen to the curve the you can if we drop if it is a zero zero point you can see the current will increase and it will get the maximum value it will get the maximum value at the f not frequency and this frequency f not or sometimes we call it resonance the current will be maximum value so what is current current is we know v by z and what is the value then we can also write v is equal to root of r square plus xl minus x square we have already discussed so if the frequency increase in the first part it will the current will increase in a 
the current will increase and after that it will be the maximum at the point of the uh, resonance after that current will starts to decrease current will starts to decrease this side the circuit will behave like a capacitive circuit because uh, the uh, this is the leading current and here current is uh, it is becoming less so it will behave like a capacity uh, inductive circuit what about the z z will be minimum z will be minimum because this is same cause the z will be minimum next we are going for our next slide so as we discussed the resonance curve before the curve between the circuit the curve between the circuit current and the frequency of the applied voltage is known as the uh, this is known as the resonance curve so what is the curve meaning of the resonance curve resonance curve means the curve this is the curve between the frequency and current and you can see at the peak the current is equal to v by r the current is equal to v by r this is the current is maximum current is maximum and the reactance is the minimum and this is our resonant frequency this is the resonant frequency and this curve curve between a and i is known as the resonance curve for smaller values of r the resonance curve is the sharply peaked now if we we got that v is equal v by z is equal to i and in the resonance condition z is equal to r so v by r is equal to i so if the value of r is small smaller values of resistance the resonance curve will be sharp the resonance curve i can zoom it so you can understand so what is happening when r value is small it is called the sharply it is getting the resonance if resist there is no resistance like purely inductive or purely resistive circuit it is becoming so sharp that it goes up to the infinity so this is called the highly selective circuit this condition this is known as the highly selective circuit now if the r value is very very large what will happen this value will become less r this value is becoming less value and this is known as the poorly selectivity the selectivity of the circuit is less and it become like a flat value the value of the resistor is small and it becomes a flat circuit what will happen the ability of the resonant circuit the ability of a resonant circuit of discriminant between the particular frequency and all others are called the selectivity so what is the meaning of the selectivity the ability of a resonant circuit to discriminate between the particular frequency and all others frequency is called the selectivity so this is the uh, resonance curve next another important definition of this chapter is the define q factor it is the ratio of the capacitor voltage or inductor voltage at resonance to the supply as i told that the properties already i have discussed in the properties of the resonance that the uh, inductor voltage and capacitor voltage both are equal but out in phase and they are q times of the sad uh, our voltage supply voltage so what is the q q is the ratio of the capacitor voltage or inductor voltage at a resonance uh, to supply uh, to it is the ratio between the capacitor voltage or inductor voltage at resonance to supply voltage is called the q factor or quality factor we can uh, we can define the q factor in different different types q factor is equal to 2 pi into maximum energy stored by 
the energy dissipated per cycle as we know that the energy is stored in the inductor and capacitor and energy uh, is dissipated in the resistive circuit so we can tell q factor equals to 2 pi into maximum energy stored by maximum energy dissipated per cycle and also we can write so maximum energy stored means the omega naught into L. Omega naught is the resonance frequency. So omega naught into L by R is equal to 1 by omega naught RC. So this is called the Q factor and Q factor also can be tails as the F naught by bandwidth. This is called the bandwidth. So the question will come what is bandwidth? So bandwidth is defined as uh, width of the resonant curve up to the frequency in the circuit of its half of its maximum value. The difference between the two half power frequencies is called the bandwidth. So as we draw just now the curve is like this and at frequency F0 it is becoming the maximum. So if this is our I max. This is the I max. So this is the I max by 2. It will come in a positive side. So this is F1 and this is F2. So the difference between the F1 and F2, the two half frequencies are called the bandwidth. So I am coming to a numerical problem. A coil having an inductance of 50 uh, millihenry and resistance 10 ohm is connected in series with a 25 microfarad capacitor across a 200 volt AC supply. Calculate the resonance frequency of the circuit and the current flowing through the equation. So what we got just on quick revision we know xl is equal to xc so 2 pi fl is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc so we are getting af is equal to 2 pi square means 4 pi 2 pi root of lc so 1 by 2 pi root of lc sorry, it will come 50 milli henry into 25 microfarad so this is coming at 142.3 hertz what is the value of the current i naught i naught v uh, is equal to at the resonance condition only the uh, resistance will be present so 200 volt is the supply the current uh, the resistance is 10 ohm so current is maximum and the value the current is maximum and the value is 20 ampere. Now we are going for an another problem. A series circuit consists of a resistance of 4 ohm, inductance of 500 millihenry and a variable capacitance connected across a 100 volt 50 hertz supply. Calculate the capacitance required to produce a series resonance condition and the voltage uh, generated across the inductor and capacitor at the point. So what is Excel? First we will calculate. We know Excel is equal to Xc. So first we have to calculate the value of Excel. What is Excel? 2 pi Fl. 2 pi 50 hertz and F, uh, 2 pi Fl. L is given as 500 uh, millihenry or 0 0.5 henry. So it is coming at 157.1 ohm. So this is obviously this is the xc. xl is equal to xc means x is equal to 157.17. So what is this? And then we know that the 1 by 2 pi fc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc is equal to we are getting the value of 157.1. So this is our xc. So what is the c? c is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into xc. So 2 pi into 50 into 150 it is coming 20.3 microfarad. So next question is the calculate the 
current so what is the current current means it is 100 volt and it will be of only the 4 ohm resistance so we can get current is 25 amps next we have to calculate the voltage so we have to calculate the voltages across the inductor and capacitor so what is the voltage of vl vl is always VL is equal to I into XL. XL value already we have calculated 157.1. So it is coming 3.9 kV. And what is VC? VL is equal to VC. So VC will also come 3.9 kV. Next, determine the resonant frequency of the circuit below. So again, if we want to calculate the resonant frequency, what is the formula? The formula F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of LC. So we are coming to the 1 by 2.314 root of L. L is 0.5 milli Henry and 10 microfarad 10 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, if we calculate, we will uh, get the frequency. Just one, uh, to next class, we will discuss the parallel resonance. Then what is a parallel resonance? A parallel resonance means the same thing, but the here also we can take, this is the current source we are giving. This is our L, this is our capacitance and this is the resistance. So R, XL and XC. The source is the current source. So when the parallel resonance will occur, when XL equals to XC. So a parallel RLC circuit, the resonance condition, the admittance will be equal to the conductance. The admittance is minimum the admittance y as this is the behaving in the z so y should be minimum and y will be is we know y is equal to g minus j b already we discussed y is equal to g minus j b where g is the conductance b is the susceptance so as xl equals to x c for the resonance condition so j b j b is equal to 0 so that y is equal to only g or conductance and the current will be the minimum as we know that the current i i is equal to v into y if y is minimum current is all obviously minimum below the resonant frequency the circuit behaves like an inductive circuit and above the resonant frequency it will behaves like a capacitive circuit all exactly opposite to the series circuit at resonance the magnitude of the current through the inductance and capacitance will be q times of the current supplied by the source but they are in phase opposition in the series resonance it is the uh, Q times the voltage is Q times of the supply voltage but here we are getting the current is Q times of the supply voltage. So for my today's session I have discussed these books and thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.